Baka lang naghahanap ka na isang laptop dyan na super premium, super thin and lightweight, and super bagay na bagay sa inyong personality. Yung something na pwede mong i-bring sa Starbucks and you can be super konyo, this my friends can back up your pagiging konyo. Ni pwede konyo lang. That's right bro, I got here two of the most premium looking laptops you could ever buy today that is super lightweight and super thin. I got here the MacBook Air M1 and the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED, a totally different class of their own. Actually, I'm just looking for another laptop that will replace my big and chunky laptops right here. Dito kasi sa Unbox Diaries, guys, puro kami naka-MacBook. Puro malalaki. Order lang sa Starbs. Hi there. Isang mocha frap, please. Okay. But joking aside, that's right. I'm just looking for another laptop that's not super chunky, super big. I just want thin and lightweight, but still very premium. And these could be it. The MacBook Air M1 and the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED both have their pros and cons. Yung isa, Mac OS. Yung isa naman, Windows. Yung isa, liquid retina display. Yung isa naman, I OLED display 2.8K resolution. This is going to be a good battle. And unboxing, mag sa tayo. But to Vince, and you're watching Unbox Series. Woohoo! Okay, so first of all, unbox mo natin yung ating uh, MacBook Air. M1. This is 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. Very mural naman siya. Nasa almost 60k. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Look at that. So beautiful. At Shampre inside, we got the very long USB Type C, the USB Type C cable, and a 30 watt charger. 30 watts. Kamusta naman ang box ni Asus? Medyo malaki siya. Madami siguro yung laman nito. Ito po yung laman niya. Let's just pull this out. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Mas nice yung packaging. Mas secure yung laptop sa box. And it's actually a box within a box. Tinan nyo naman yung kanyang box guys. Sobrang nipi, sobrang liit. Smallest laptop box ever. Oh, here is the laptop. Huh? What in the world am I seeing right here? Oh my god. Guys, tingnan nyo kung gano siya kaliit. Kanipis, ka small form factor. Now, ito, let me just. Oh, look at that form factor. Holy moly, my man, man. So, kita nyo po ginagawa ko. Ganyan po siya kagaan. Woo, ah! I it. This one, ay, medyo may weight to it. Yes, there's a little bit of difference in weight. Sobrang gaan. And inside the box, of course, we got here the paperwork. In Search of Incredible. May mga cards sa loob. And more. In Search of Incredible. Hindi lang yun. Yung kanyang charger ay may sarili ding social na box. Ooh. Ang social naman noon. Wow. 65 watt charger. Mahaba ang kanyang kable. Wait. Meron pa palang last dito. Uy. Nice. It has a cover inside the box. Zen Book. Panalo. Actually, very useful ta. Thank you so much, Asus. Tapos na ang ating unboxing. Ngayon, check naman natin ang kanilang itsura. Now, syempre, the first thing that you're gonna notice here is the signature Apple design of the MacBook Air M1. Lahat na mga legit na konyo meron ganito. Makakaya naman tayo ng lechon sa LAN. Di joke lang. <laughs> Baka sa iba bro, konyo lang talaga magsalita. Di ba bro? Pero ayun na nga, ito yung design. This is what a MacBook looks like, or a traditional MacBook looks like. An all-aluminum body. Very classy, very premium, very, very Apple. Pero guys, ito pala ay MacBook Air, hindi pa siya MacBook Pro. Ang pinakibala nila is ito ay mas manipis, mas magaan. And if you look closely, dito siya makapal, panipis po siya ng panipis hanggang sa dulo. Para sa akin, ito yung pinakamagandang design sa isang MacBook. This is the sharpest, most elegant looking model that they have made so far. Ito po ay 129 kilograms. 16.1 millimeters thick. Impressive. But wait till you see this. The Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. Isang laptop na 1 kilograms lang guys. 2.2 pounds in the palm of my hands. Just 14.9 millimeters thick. One of the lightest laptops in the world right now. The body is a combination of magnesium and aluminum. And a little bit of plastic right here. Siyempre, alam po na yan. Gusto nila more lightweight. Yung kanyang pagka-premium at yung kanyang build quality ay very similar to the MacBook Air. Parehas pong minimalistic ang kanilang design. Just the logo and some text right here below. Asus ZenBook. Si MacBook Air naman, Apple lang talaga yung kanilang logo dito sa taas. And that's not all sa kanilang pagiging minimalistic. Ito pa. 
Si MacBook Air ay sobrang minimalist talaga ang kanyang itsura. Ultimo yung kanyang mga ports, sobrang minimal. USB Type-C port lang. And sa other side, is meron siyang headphone jack port. And that's pretty much it. Kung dalawa lang yung USB Type-C port ni MacBook Air, ito naman tatlo, which is something very significant. Kung mapasin nyo, si MacBook Air M1 ay nagre-rely pa rin sa kanyang port para mag-charge ng kanyang sarili. And that's going to use up one port. So isang port na lang magamit mo. Dito naman kay Asus ZenBook S13 OLED, sa left side pwede ka mag-charge. Ayun. Diyan mo lalagay yung charger. And sa other side naman, is meron pang dalawang extra USB Type-C ports na pwede mo paglagyan ng keyboard, mouse, isa pang dongle, isa pang USB hub, mga ganun para mas convenient. And of course, meron pa siyang headphone jack and microphone port right here. At guys, good news, itong tatlong USB Type-C ports ay lahat USB 3.2 na. Si MacBook Air naman, dalawang Thunderbolt 3 ports slash USB 4 ports na sila. Ito yung dapat mong makita. For some people, hindi na kailangan ng extra angle on their displays sa kanila mga laptop. But for some like me, gusto ko sa extreme yung aking angles na nagagalaw for a display. Si MacBook Air M1 or pretty much any MacBook I use, hanggang dito na lang lagi. Nakakatakot ng isagad pa. Baka mabali yung kanyang display. Ito naman kay Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. Oh my God. Nakita niyo ba yun? Isipin niyo na sa Starbucks ka. Pare, can your laptop do this? Do that? Can you make pie pie with your laptop? Tsaka pare, can your laptop do this? Kapag umuulan, meron ka nag-cover. Bahala ka sa buhay mo! Te joke lang. Kasi kung bali yung gagawin nun. Diba pare? Sheesh! But probably the biggest win for Asus here is yung kanyang display. Tingnan nyo maigi ang display ni Asus! Wow! Sobrang bright. Sobrang vibrant. Medyo malaya ba? Yes, malaya po yung kanilang difference in terms of quality sa kanilang display. Now, although Apple is marketing this as a liquid retina display, guys, ito po ay isang IPS LCD display lang. Saktuhan lang yung kanilang display. Medyo dim sa sides. But overall, great for content creation. Kasi nga, accurate yung display niya. Perfect for Adobe sRGB. Maganda talaga ito for Photoshop and photo editing. Ang problema na siguro dito is yung kanyang brightness. Sobrang dim para sa akin. Ito na yung max niya, guys. It's not really that much. I don't know about you, but para sa akin, I'm already indoors, pero parang nadidilim mo na sa kanya. Ito naman, feeling ko, pwede mong gamitin sa labas. Sa labas ng coffee shop, sa labas ng Starbs. That's right, pwede kayo mag-yosin ng inyong pare. Pare, this is so nice. Look at my sales. Look at my new program, pare. So nice. Pare, ito pala yung bagong chicks ko, pare. Oh my God, gito mo yan. Sobrang hot, pare. Wait lang, pare. Kiss ko lang siya. Sarap, pare. Kaya ba ng laptop ko yan? Hindi, siyempre, pare. Shush! Tapos yung kaibigan mo yung MacBook. Ay, pare. Tinan mo naman sa akin. Ay, ang dark. Ang dark naman sa'yo. What's that? Look how vibrant my display is. Yours is so yucky and so less contrast. Ano yung kaya ito eh? But yes, kidding aside, si Asus ZenBook S13 OLED ay sobrang ganda na kanyang display. Siyempre, OLED to eh. Ang difference po ng IPS at OLED display ay sobrang napakalayo. It's night and day. But just to give you a quick rundown sa kanilang specs, ito na po yun. Si MacBook Air ay merong 13.3 inch. 2560 by 1600 IPS LCD display. That has up to 400 nits of brightness. Si Asus ZenBook S13 OLED naman ay merong 13.3 inch, 2.8K OLED display na merong up to 550 nits of max peak brightness. And it's already got Dolby Vision and HDR support. Oh my God. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, if you're into content consumption, watching movies, playing games, ito, dito ka na. Pictures and videos are going to look a lot more livelier. Mas malakas ang dating. Mas maganda yung color, contrast, and pretty much the dynamic range is going to be much better on the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. And as you can see, in terms of color talaga, contrast, resolution, lamang na lamang si ZenBook. The level of quality you're gonna get on this display sa ZenBook ay on a totally different level. Napasik ko rin mas sharp yung kanyang mga text. So if you're into reading, emails, programming, mas klaro, mas usable talaga itong si Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. At hindi lang yun, guys, mas malupit ang sound quality ni Asus. Dahil meron siyang Harman Kardon speakers at meron pa siyang Dolby Atmos support. Wow! Grabe naman to. Sobrang bright naman yan. Isa pang napansin ko is yung bezels talaga ni Asus ay sobrang nipis. Ito po yung bezels ni MacBook Air M1. Ito naman kay Asus. Oh my God! Ang nipis. The Asus is parang almost borderless, no? Which gives you a much more immersive experience when watching movies or checking out photos. As you can see right here, no? Yung color black ni Asus, talagang sobrang black talaga. As in, perfect dark blacks. Ito naman kay MacBook Air ay medyo grayish. Ayan talaga yung limitation ng isang LCD display. And with the support of HDR content, 
or Dolby Vision, kapag nanood ka na Netflix, pumapalo yung kanyang HDR support. And in movies, you're gonna get better contrast, more details in the dark areas, better handling of lighting, at mas maganda overall yung brightness na makikita mo kapag watching movies here on the Asus. The Asus is also future-proof, no? Meron na siyang Wi-Fi 6E technology para mas makasupport ng mas malawak na range of bandwidth. Which is parang nagsusupport na to siya ng pinakabagong 6 GHz Wi-Fi. Nice! Asus is calling it Asus Wi-Fi Master Premium with Smart Connect. Si MacBook Air M1 ay Wi-Fi 6 lang. So in terms of future-proofing, mas future-proof si Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. But wait, in terms of typing naman, no? Siyempre, important pala ito. Nakalimutong sabihin. Now, both have really good trackpad experience, no? Ito talaga yung forte ni MacBook, no? Kapag nakawa ka na isang trackpad ng isang MacBook, maiin love ka kagad. Kasi sobrang smooth, sobrang accurate, sobrang premium din nung build niya dito. Nakain love, sobra. And feeling ko, yes, mas nakain love pa rin. For me, ang MacBook in terms of trackpad, eh, ibang klas talaga. Now this one, on the other hand, si Asus ay merong Windows Precision Drivers. Smooth naman din yung kanyang trackpad, but not as smooth as yung kay Apple. Pero there's something that you need to know about the Asus that will surely blow your mind. Ito na po yun. Meron po siyang numpad sa kanyang trackpad. What? That is right, my friends. They have placed a virtual numpad within the trackpad. Ang tawag dito ay Asus Numberpad 2.0. Alam nyo naman yun, no? Kapag ka 13-inch talaga na laptop, hindi na kasya yung numpad. So for people who want the numpad, you've got it right here sa inyong trackpad. And Asus has made it very accessible for people. Just click this particular icon right here and there you go. It's going to come out just like that. At kapag nag-illuminate na yung kanyang numpad, pwede mo na siyang gamitin. Ayan, pwede mo na pinutot-pinutin. Kagana po yan sa, sa mga Word document. Pretty much kahit saan na pwede ka mag-type. Passwords, search engines, Facebook, comment, kahit saan. And ooh, pwede mo pala i-control yung kanyang illumination levels, no? Meron siyang icon dito sa upper left corner that controls the amount of light that the trackpad emits. No? Kung uh, nagsisave ka ng battery, you don't want the light, pwede naman. O nga pala, nakalimut ko na yung kanyang keyboard. Isa sa mga pinaka-important yan na topics na dapat i-cover sa isang laptop comparison or review. Now, in terms of the keyboard experience, I would have to say that the Asus takes this. Simply because mas maganda yung kanyang travel, mas may lalim. Ito guys, medyo shallow. Parang feeling ko matigas masyado yung keyboard ni MacBook. It is not such a good typing experience. Iba pa rin talaga yung MacBook Pro dati na maganda yung keyboard. Kaya lang makapal yun. This one, on the other hand, guys, mag -e enjoy talaga kayo mag-type dito. So, kung mahilig ka mag-type, you do programming, isa kang writer, you will be right at home with this laptop kasi... Meron siyang magandang feedback kapag ka napindot mo siya. And it's not noisy. Saktuhan lang. Yun nga lang, bakit nasa gitna yung power button dito sa Asus? Baka magkamali ka dyan. Katabi lang ng delete button. And guys, hindi mo nalata. Meron pa siyang fingerprint scanner integrated into the power button. Wala lang, napansin ko lang. While si MacBook Air M1 ay meron po yan dito. Sa may power button, you just need to... Register your fingerprint. Siyempre, kilala to as the Touch ID. So, iPhone, dito, Touch ID po yan. Which for me is very convenient, especially if nagmamadali ka, no? Nabuksan yung laptop mo, hindi ka na magta-type ng password. Although, meron naman si Asus niyan, si Windows Hello. Gagamitin nyo kanyang webcam to unlock the laptop. Siyempre, face recognition yung gamitin niyang technology, not fingerprint. And now, for the interesting part. Which one is the faster device? Kamusta naman yung performance ng dalawang to? On the Asus side, meron siyang AMD Ryzen 7. 6800U, mabilis na po yan. Pero syempre, there's something about the MacBook that sets it apart from the competition starting last year, which was the release of the M1 chip. Guys, ito pong laptop na to ay merong Apple M1 chip, 8-core processor, sariling processor po to ni Apple. And by God, is it so optimized for Apple applications. Apple applications, take note. Syempre, mas may control ka kapag ka Apple applications. Pero kapag Windows naman, mas marami ka pang pwedeng gagawin dyan. Marami kasing processor na available sa market for Windows. Ayun na naman. But what does that mean for me as a consumer? Now, in terms of speed, syempre, ang bilis talaga ng M1 chip when you're just doing Adobe apps, Premiere Pro, Adobe Photoshop, especially Apple-optimized apps like Final Cut Pro, iMovie, Ibang klase talaga itong machine na to for those types of software. But if you're not really into the Apple ecosystem, this one is actually fast enough for pretty much any apps available for the Windows ecosystem. Microsoft Office, Microsoft Edge, mga financing apps na wala dito. Yes, this one is definitely fast enough to handle those 
without a hitch. Photoshop wala din problema dito. Pero kasi kapag ka content creation na, that involves video, medyo mahirapan siya kasi wala siyang parang powerful graphics card to back it up. Oh, by the way, meron siyang AMD Radeon Graphics RDNA 2 or 6080M. It is a mobile graphics pero hindi siya yung kasing level ng mga 3080, 3070 or any major graphics card na nakita niya sa mga gaming laptop, gaming PCs. Wala po siyang ganun. I just think what they're targeting right here, itong sa Asus Zenbook, is sa mga students, mga professionals just like you who just wants a very premium laptop that has windows, that has a great display, and has very versatile features. This is going to be right at home for you. Now in terms of gaming, uh, I can't do a comparison video guys kasi nga hindi naman gaming laptops ito mato, especially si MacBook, hindi po optimize ang MacBook for gaming. Mahirapan po yan. Nagtry na po mag gaming sa isang MacBook or sa iMac. Uh, pangit po. Don't try it. Masisira ang buhay mo. Kapag games talaga guys, Windows. Uh, this one can pretty much play at least the, the bare minimum ng mga games. Dota 1, League of Legends, konting Valorant sa lowest settings, kayang-kanya po yan. But again, don't expect too much dito sa ano, kasi it's not really marketed as a gaming laptop in the first place. Now, after comparing them inch by inch, spec by spec, which one actually provides the better value? Let me just start with the MacBook Air M1. Ito po yung mas mura ng konti. That's right, in this comparison, mas mura ngayon si Apple. Kaya lang there's something that you need to know about this kasi ito yung kanilang base model which is 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. Guys, yung 256 gigs na yan ay sobrang liit. Kung pang study, pang work, kulang na kulang talaga yun. Guys, take it from me. Ang hirap na maliit yung kanyang SSD. At least go for 512 SSD. Promise, hindi kayo magsisi. Si Asus naman ay at least 512 gigs of SSD. 8 gigs of RAM. Ito yung presyo nalang dalawa. For the Apple MacBook Air with M1 chip, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. Ito po ay 57,990 pesos. Si Asus ZenBook S13 OLED naman, 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of internal storage, ay naghalagang 63,000. 995 pesos. Ito pa yung AMD Ryzen 7 6800U. And with that, you're gonna get double the storage, a much better display, a much better keyboard, faster charging, mas malipis, mas magan. I think this one has the better value overall. Si Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. Oh, by the way, kung kulang pa sa inyo yung specs nitong si ZenBook, meron pa siyang isa pang configuration na mas maganda. Ito po yun. Meron pa siyang 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of internal storage, Ito po si AMD Ryzen 7 6800U na nagalagang 76,995 pesos only. Pero yung katumbas na naman to guys is yung Apple M2 na. Which is although very fast, sobrang mahal naman of 99,990 pesos based sa Apple website. And still, IPS display. Ba't ganun? O pala, I forgot to tell you guys, ang sabi ni Asus, ito ay 19 hours, up to 19 hours of video playback. Ito naman si MacBook Air M1, ay up to 18 hours lang of video playback. So, mas maganda yung battery life nitong si Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. This is truly a machine to be reckoned with. And I just love it. That's why I'm purchasing one right now. Actually, ako na to. <laughs> Sana all! This is sobrang ganda talaga. Very light, portable. And that's what I'm looking for talaga sa isang bagong laptop this 2022. And that pretty much wraps up our video today. Pare. So I'm just gonna go na no, sa Starbs. This is just so cool with my cafe latte venti. Just gonna go enjoy na. Sheesh. Tanga. Oh, if you wanna see more videos just like this, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our great content about the bins. And you're watching Unbox Ladies. Hoo-hoo.